Hi, I'm Eric and this is Try Not To Break Anything. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to clean the micro LiDAR sensor on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. So come with me and let's get this sensor cleaned. If you got this notification on your X1 Carbon, it means it's time to clean the LiDAR sensor. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the LiDAR sensor without damaging it. All right, in order to clean the micro LiDAR sensor on the X1 Carbon, you're going to need two things. One, get a microfiber cloth. And two, you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. The higher the percentage, the better. So if you can get 99% isopropyl alcohol, you're going to be good to go. So that's what we got here. So let's go ahead and give it a clean. All right, the first thing we're going to do is turn off our X1 Carbon from the back. With that off, we're going to then go ahead and reach inside for the hot end and bring that closer for our access. All right, and let's bring that a little bit towards the center here. Very good. Here's what the hot end looks like from below. The best way to access the micro LiDAR sensor is to actually remove the front plate. And you can actually see it right here. There is the micro LiDAR sensor right here. There's also a second micro LiDAR sensor right on this thing right here. So in order to clean that, we're just simply gonna take our microfiber cloth and we're gonna go ahead and spray it down with some rubbing alcohol and then just give it a quick wipe. That's it. The other thing you may wanna do while you're cleaning the micro LiDAR sensor is you're gonna to wanna to give this little pattern right here a cleaning as well. If you've ever wondered what this calibration board was for, it's actually used by the micro LiDAR sensor in order to calibrate the nozzle flow rate of your hot end before every single print. All right, and now with the micro LiDAR sensor cleaned and the calibration board being wiped down, you shouldn't have any issues unless you have another type of issue with your LiDAR sensor on your 3D printer. So with that said, we're all done here. I'm gonna put the glass roof back onto my printer, turn it back on, and I don't know, maybe I'll print some Benchies. All right guys, this was a short and simple uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you know anybody who's got an X1 Carbon or is thinking about getting an X1 Carbon, please share this video with them. It really helps me out growing the channel by sharing this video. And uh, if you want to see more, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And thanks a lot for watching. All right, see you guys on the next video.